To kill a classic? That's what some readers are asking today as the controversy surrounds the release of Pulitzer Prize winning author Harper Lee's new novel. Go Set a Watchman hit store shelves this morning, 55 years after To Kill a Mockingbird. Which a lot of us read as we were growing up as kids. KCRA 3's Linda Muma talked with readers about the story's questionable character. Since Atlanta, she had looked out the dining car window with a delight almost physical. While the first few words of Harper Lee's new novel don't appear to be controversial, the book certainly is. I've seen a lot of different viewpoints. Including the depiction of one of the main characters, Atticus Finch, the heroic lawyer of To Kill a Mockingbird, played here by actor Gregory Peck. I heard that the character, that the main character's father, Atticus, is a lot different than what people are used to. Different because in Mockingbird, Finch is an Alabama attorney and model parent who risks his safety to defend a black man accused of rape. But in Watchmen, set 20 years later in the mid 1950s, he's painted as an aging racist who expresses sorrow when segregation in schools is declared unequal. She's seeing him like in a different light now that she's an adult rather than as a child. That didn't stop the Barnes and Noble store in Modesto from opening two hours early to celebrate the book's release. There's been a lot of excitement ever since this book was announced back in February, and we've had a lot of customers pre-ordering, and today we were able to release it 7 o'clock across the entire country. Manager Susan Hahn says customers bought the book in both English and Spanish, a now bestseller Lee intended to publish first, but released decades later at nearly 90 years old. This was actually her first attempt at the book, and then she was asked to rewrite it uh, from a scout as a young child from her perspective. So it's, it's just really interesting that this is what that classical work came from. In Modesto, Linda Muma, KCRA 3 News. So To Kill a Mockingbird was published in 1960. It won that Pulitzer Prize and sold more than 40 million copies. Lee completed Watchmen in the 1950s. The manuscript, though, was rediscovered last year.